from MIA to LA on the run like I don't got in the state. Yeah. Derry, what's good, bro? How you doing today? Chilling, chilling. Okay, so tell us about this fit from head to toe. Like, start with the cap. Oh, I got you. This is a, I can't remember the brand, but I actually use you. Yeah. Season and decise. Okay, that's so live. from Atlanta. Oh, like that. Pretty good. Um, the hoodie, just a $10 black hoodie. Uh huh. That's the, fly. The second hoodie is the best hoodie. This is a diesel hoodie. Oh, so it's a second hoodie. Up. Okay, okay. You got two hoodies on. Okay. Facts. Go that. Keychain I personally made for my brand. Okay. Like yeah, fuck with that. That's good. Jeans? Yeah. Oh, that's like, yeah. I like the design of the jeans, especially like the rips and the distress look. And everything that's fly. And what about the kicks? Pumas? Yeah. Uh -huh. that's yeah. That's fly. That's fly. Wait, hold on, hold on. You got a clothing brand, right? Where do you see your brand in the next five years? Well, I see it being like a big online business. Okay. You know, that's how it's looking right now. Uh -huh. but it'll definitely, you know, be a big brand where it'll be like more of like an art showcase. So that's kind of where I see the direction of going yeah. in. Honestly, you just see it myself doing a whole bunch of shows. Yeah, facts. That'd be fire. Yeah, people outside. Yeah. Going about the brand instead of like having everybody online. So, uh huh. Fuck that. Taking off as like a real like lifestyle instead of it just being like all like keep going up on the social media or wherever it may be. Like, yeah. Become like a real thing that people yeah. can get involved like how they want to. Uh huh. Like, you get the real experience of my brand. That's like, that's where I see it, yeah, facts. Like that's what's up, man. Definitely looking forward to that. And then also, where do you get your style inspiration from? Uh, sometimes like I go to like fashion pages, like, yeah. Instagram, and, like, TikTok. Um, sometimes it's just me looking at like old pictures of mine and like yeah. just like putting stuff together, kind of just like test and looks out and see if I can like kind of just revamp or make it more like higher level, mm -hmm. just, like, style, but, you know, two times better. See yeah. if I wear like, black hoodie. So yeah. Like, this, right, this time I just don't think I would Right. Like, something like different. Right. Just experiment. That's how you take off. Sometimes my mother, family, yeah. people around me, and I just hope they see anything. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Feel you feel. And now, even though 420 was yesterday, right? What's your craziest 420 experience? If you couldn't remember. <laughs> Yeah. Like we got so much practice, we smoked like a whole zip. Yeah. Like my first time I was smoking out of the street. Yes. Like, like, Sorry, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. We all like, we all get high and stuff, and then we all sit down at this like big table. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, 10 minutes into the high, like, we, like, we just we got quiet. Like, yeah. Everybody <laughs> sitting at the table with their arms like this, like a like a real conference. I'm like, everybody just looking at each other, beady, red eyes. Like, yeah. Yo, I couldn't even feel my feet, bro. Like, nah, that feeling, that feeling feet is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Right, right, right. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. I like that, like that. And now, what's one piece of clothing? Like, what's your favorite piece of clothing that you always rotate? The jacket. Gotta be jacket. Gotta be jacket? Like you yeah. could put on, like, a simple fit, but yeah. as soon as you throw in a jacket, it just makes it, like, more, like, locked out. You know? Yeah, it makes pop it, like, up. Fire. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And now, what's your favorite season to get dressed? Like summer, spring, winter, fall? Um, I say winter. Yeah, winter. Because of the layers. You know, I like Ooh, the layers. Gotta get the put layers. On. Yeah, <laughs> definitely put it on, man. Okay, this is a dope fit, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, <laughs> Thanks thank for you. your time. My favorite looks from today's video coming in number one, BB Norbray from head to toe fashion over some from head to waist fashion over supplied the drip the puffer jacket let's start there that was super fly i got a little bit of chanel inspiration from it and fashion over just added their own twist with the buckles in the front and in the, the inside material as well moving on to the leather pants he had on super fly like the fact that you could dress those up or down you could make it like a biker style look or you could have like a casual fit with it and then those ben and jerry sb nike ducks low oh my god y'all like that was my first time actually seeing it in person on somebody and i was like yo the colorway epic ben and jerry's and nike did their thing with that one and he had good vibes and good energy as well that's definitely why I was like, we match your energies, you know? My energy may seem a little bit low for this video. I'm a little tired, but I'm still just trying to push myself, get some good content for y'all. Um, also, look number two, shout out to Darren. I ran into bro almost like a year ago, but I remember his face. One thing about me, I'm not too good for names, but I don't forget a face, you know what I'm saying? I feel like my mom got that, that feature, so I kind of like de developed that through my generics and some shit like that. Um, so long story short, uh, his look was cool. I liked his denim tear jeans. It had the distressed look. Um, and then he had his biker chain, which was super dope. You can't go wrong with a biker chain. Uh, man, it's just a, a statement piece. I remember, I feel like the first rapper might have been like Jim Jones, somebody I seen heavily wearing like biker chains, or maybe Travis Scott. I might be lying, but I had to do my research on that one. Oh, no oh, shit. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, his look was cool. I wish we would have seen the back of his hoodie because the back of his hoodie was fire, y'all. Um, it had like some kind of dope skeleton, like 3D, like, um, curtain style design to like i forgot i don't know the fuck i was thinking i'm like oh shit when i walked through i forgot to see the back of his um hoodie but anyway y'all seen his full fit his fit was fly he had on some pumas the match with his vibe which was cool coming in at number three i like the dude that had on like the denim suit um along with the clogs he didn't stop for an interview but i said let me just still record his look because he was in a rush um, and then I liked his bag that he had on. Everybody's wardrobe is transitioning to spring, summer. So you're gonna see a lot of like dope spring, summer looks moving forward in the videos. Um, but spring is always a vibe. You know, I like that. Not too hot, not too cold. Um, what am I saying? Summer's right around the damn corner. Um, Cause June is right there. Shit, these months just go by mad quick. But even though this was a short video, I told you I was coming with a Monday upload. Tuesday a video is gonna be a little bit longer, y'all. Um, but we're just trying to get into the rhythm of just consistently posting like every single day. You know what I'm saying? They looking at me like, you vlogging? You're damn right. I finally built the confidence up. Literally, you know. <laughs> Out in public. <laughs> Yo, because I'll be at the crib. I'll be like, all right, let me just wait till I get to the crib to end up the video. Now, we ending this shit up outside, man. Um, so now, I'm probably just about to run over to Crumble, um, get some cookies for my mom's. I'll probably head out a little bit later to see what's going on in the city, see if there's any more events. Because, um, you know, we're going drip check crazy. Um, we, we, we going drip check fucking insane, man. Um, one thing, you know, about being a YouTuber is that you got to be consistent. If you're not a consistent YouTuber, you know, the YouTube algorithm is going to put you to shit. You know, like, you're you going to be like, your career going to be with Anna Nicole. Um, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. But, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoying the videos. Um, let me give y'all a little quick fit check, I guess, before I go. Um, Nike sweatshirt. I think they discontinued this style though because I had this since I was in high school. So that was probably like 2015, 2016. Got a little side pocket right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, Yankee fitted hat on. I brought these pants right here, thrifted. I got on my Air Max. My mom brought me these Air Max a minute ago. And for some reason when she first brought it, I was feeling it, but like I was too crazy about the Air Max, but you can't go wrong with a pair of Air Max 
in your I mean in your wardrobe in your rotation you know what I'm saying like I just feel like that's a New York staple it was almost equivalent to having a pair of Tim's in your closet but yeah man that's it uh we're pretty much chilling so I'm gonna head out of here make sure you like comment share and subscribe to the channel I'll see y'all next time get us fellas peace